What's up, Vol fans? What's up, Bama fans? Catfish here, bringing you another episode of the Volunteer Road Show. Before we get all bent out of shape and everybody starts saying, I thought you had a chance, Catfish. I thought you said you had a chance. So, Bama fans, please don't be as dumb as these Georgia fans that don't know what satire means and facetious and shtick and all that stuff. So, pause the video, Bama fans. Go get your dictionary and look up chance and probable. And then when you're done, come back and click play and you can enjoy the video like the rest of the people watching this show. Okay. Is Alabama average? Well, I'm going to give you a long and a short answer. Or maybe it'll just be two short answers. Uncle Lou started something here this year calling Alabama average and people lost their minds. I believe, I, I don't think I've ever seen so much out of one little comment that's caused so much uproar. I've had a couple of Georgia fans and Alabama fans duking it out on one of my videos talking about being average. And I'm here to settle the debate. It's going to settle it right here. Yes, Alabama is average. They're very average. And when I think about the totality of football, I don't know that I've ever seen a more average team than the Alabama Crimson Tide. They're, they would be maybe slightly below average in the NFC South. Uh, I don't know. I, I think the Atlanta Falcons would, would beat them. I don't know that it'd even be close, really. Tampa would give them a struggle. I think they could beat the Saints. I, you know, a lot of people think I'm crazy, but I think they could be the, beat the Saints. Um, that's all I've got to say as far as the SEC is concerned. They're head and shoulders above everybody. You say, well, we shut. Georgia fans are going to say, well, we shut you out 41 to nothing. Well, let me tell you something. They didn't even play their starting quarterback the second half. And they were playing second stringers on defense the second half. And they wore us out. I hated it. I'm not upset. I expected it to happen. Yeah, I said we had a chance. And I'll say it again. If we played again, I'd say we have a chance. We'll always have a chance. Was it a probable no, it wasn't probable. I don't think there was anybody in America who thought that we had a really good chance. But you never know. It would take a couple of fluke plays, an injury here, an injury there, something crazy. And this is football. I mean, why suit them up? You know, we've got big, strong kids. I mean, they're not as big and strong as fast as your team. But we had a chance. And no, I don't regret saying it at all. So, uh, and I've got to say this. I'm really sorry about not being able to answer everybody's comment. It's just been so overwhelming. I didn't think I'd get so many, but I try to make it a point to answer everybody's comments, unless it's just stupid. I've had a few, a few stupid ones that said, how do you think you're going 12 and three? They give me some doctorate thesis on how it's mathematically impossible to go 12 and three. And I don't even answer stupid people like that. If you don't know what a shtick is, and I've been doing it all season, then I'm not going to waste my time. But those that were good comments and I didn't answer, I apologize. I'll try to get around to it. I've been running the wheels off this truck here lately. I'm, I'm in Houston, headed to West Palm Beach, Florida, and then Hazleton, Pennsylvania, and then back to Laredo. So I've got a lot of trucking to do. So uh, I wanted to get that out of the way. Um, I've got a, the crow part of this video, I guess, is Hoss, Law Tide, all the great Alabama fans that have 
been watching my videos all year. Got a salute. This is an unprecedented run that Alabama's on and just revel in it. Don't feel sorry. Don't. I, I'd be running my mouth every day, so don't be sorry. You know, rub it in. I can take it. Uh, I, we'll never, ever, ever see this again, ever. So just enjoy it. And truth be told, I'm actually enjoying it as much as it gnaws on me that Alabama's successful. But I wouldn't say enjoy. I'd probably... The better word would be marvel. I just marvel, and I'm jealous as hell. Uh, and I just hope someday that we can get there. We'll be back. So uh, I've got a prize for Hoss and Law Tide and all my great Alabama fans that are fans of this show. This is this is from the heart. Here you go. Hey Vols! Hey Vols! We just. Beat the hell out of you, rammer, jammer, yeller, hammer, give them hell, Alabama. Well, there you go. Congratulations, Alabama fans. Well deserved. I think we played pretty good there at the start. I was pretty impressed with the defense. No, I don't. That doesn't mean, calm down. That doesn't mean I think they're the best in the SEC. Compared to what we've been playing, I was impressed. We held Alabama to a few punts there. and. It was our offense that really caused all the points that y'all scored because we just couldn't get a rest on defense and it just showed you had the horses down the stretch. Heck, even your second stringers were great. Enjoy this win while I'm suffering. I, you know, I'm not crying like a little girl like I was in that South Carolina video, which I don't think I was crying like a little girl. It's just emotion. And if you think it's a little girl, then you can look me up private message me and we'll have a discussion about it. I don't mind discussing what you think about me, but we need to do it in person. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate y'all watching my show and all your comments and everything. And I just have one thing to say. We're going 11 and 4 because we're kicking Kentucky's ass. I promise you that.